More batch painting for Ankh Gods of Egypt. These are Isis's warriors. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a good day. This is Isis's warriors. They are painted with gray sear from Citadel because we're gonna be using Citadel contrast. And as you can see, I also put some lead belcher down on this miniature just like I did with Isis with the shiny silver because we're going to be trying contrast paints over metallics. Uh, we're starting off with a little bit of uh, Reichlin Flesh Shade. So this is just a shade, it is not a contrast paint, so it's very different. But I wanted to do this on the base, as a base for the skin because I wanted some parts to be a little darker, some parts a little lighter when I do put the real flesh shade on or contrast later on. Now we're using some Karasberg Crimson. This is another shade from Citadel. And this is gonna go on top of that like chainmail armor that he has on. And before we move on to the next color, I just wanna mention like, so shades, I seem to notice they work a lot better over metallic. So this is Flesh Terror's red. Uh, this is gonna be for his beautiful cloak cape, whatever you wanna call it. So yeah, I was just saying shades. So shade paints seem to work a little bit more like speed paints, whereas the color seems to come out well, the base color underneath, like the metallic, comes out a lot more than the contrast paints. Now, I noticed this too. The contrast paint seems to dull down that silver, and we're going to see that later on. Uh, all right, we're moving on now quickly to some Hypothecary White. This is going to be for the tip of his spear and the feathers on his uh, arrows. Now, we're going to use a little bit of snake bite leather here. We're going to do that for his wristbands. We're also going to do this for his nice shield that he has, as well as some straps. And you're going to notice when we start doing the shield, that the silver barely comes through anymore. So this is what I'm saying. I find if, I, I guess I would have had to use maybe some medium on the stink by letter, but then on the white, it would have been too clear. So yes, I could have done all that. I'm also using it on his quiver here and the uh, uh, dagger sheath as well. Uh, so as you can see on the white, it gives it a nice contrast. But as soon as I start doing it on the shield, it's like it almost removes that shine. It's still a bit there though, not bad, but not, like the hardened leather would have given probably and I should have actually tried that out but I'm sick of doing comparison things anyways Leviathan blue is the next color we're using in the contrast paint li line and this is gonna be for that little like uh, scarf around his spear uh, some clothing he's got like this little drape in front and it's like under robe that he has under his cloak or something I don't even know what that is and the next thing we're doing now is Wildwood. So we did the hilt of the dagger. We're doing also the spear and we're doing his bow as well with this beautiful Wildwood color. Again, some places when it's flat, it's not super when you do contrast painting uh, because there's no details, right? So you don't really do, but it's, I just want to do these all in contrast painting because it is batch painting. There are six of these to do in this set again. So it gets long and painting it with contrast paint just makes it so much faster. So now we're putting Fire Slayer Flesh on top of that Reichland Flesh Shade. And as you can see, it's darkening the areas that were a little bit darker. So it's a really good thing because you can see the Reichland Flesh Shade, the gray is still almost coming through. And it was a little, like, that's way too light. And I wanted these guys to have more like a tan color. Uh, Black Templar now for that little mohawk of hair he has on his head. Moving on to Cassandora Yellow. This is another shade. It is not a contrast. So this is a shade. Very different. Putting it on top of the metallic paint that's on that like headdress thing or whatever around his neck and uh, the last part of his quiver using some Drakenhof nightshade now on this weird thing on the back of his head don't even know what it is dry brushing some sigma right this is a metallic a dry paint skipping away from the uh, citadel stuff we're using a little bit of gemstone now from the army painter uh, because i did paint over some of the silver already with other colors so i had to use uh, something else so the gemstone was working perfectly fine and there's just a few little areas to grab and there you go, Isis's warriors are painted and ready to fight alongside Isis and Og Ankh, gods of Egypt. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.